So what's up guys? Today we'll be looking at how to handle errors in importing CSV file into SQLs. Most platforms actually don't talk about these things because they've actually prepared almost everything the learner needs in learning. So learners don't encounter errors when they are learning, in the process of learning. But when they now finish the course and they try to do it from their own laptop and they are trying to install the softwares they need, maybe like the SQL, maybe like the Python, then they encounter these errors. So in most cases, these errors, these um, topics are actually not talked enough about. So, so today we'll be talking about how to handle errors when we are when importing CSV file into SQL database. Because this thing actually has stopped most people in doing projects um to add to their portfolio because the moment they start watching tutorials and they are not able to do the same thing the tutor is actually doing it then they actually stop and they give up because in as much they are ready to do it but they cannot import the files that is actually needed so there it's easy to actually give up at that stage so let's get started um, let's try to import a csv file into our sql database so let's use the server Import wizard, click on that. Now let's try to locate our CSV file. Color, let's try this. Open, click on next. Now this is our database. You need to actually understand what's going on with your data set rather. Now this is your ID, small hint your name view and character view. and this is bit so let's import data now as you can see now this is the error i'm talking about now look at this it's, it's a error in certain data into training that's the main error now the sub error here is that here is that the given value f of type string from the data source cannot be converted to type for column three is underscore strands. Now, what this is saying that is that the F here is actually not in the same format that it should be. The F is a string format, and we are trying to convert it into a bit format. So that is why we are having this here. So let me just show you how we are, I'm going to handle this. I'm going to show you two ways you can handle this because at times the error can be overwhelming and might not be able to figure it out. So just let me show you the first step. So I'm going to go to previous. Now, as I said earlier, this is ID, is is an integer. The name we have name, names can be um, are usually combined with views and character. This sort of views and character. Now we know for the fact that our last column. Which is is trans is trans. What we have there is a string. So what we need to do is convert this from bits. And so let's convert that. You can choose this character, but I would just advise to choose. I would advise to choose variables a character. So let's click on import. Now, as you can see, you have successfully inserted data into your table. Then done. So you can now go now nah, here is it so if you run it now now you can see you have successfully imported our data set so let me just drop it and you know show you the show you the second method i'm going to use in solving this problem so let's drop this Okay. Now let me show you the second method. The second method, the se and I'm showing this second method is because at times you might not be able to actually figure out as a as a new begin as a beginner, you might actually not be able to figure out what exactly is the problem in the process of importing your data. So all you need to do to just go to 
your search engine put your search engine convert csv file to sql click on this first link But the thing is that actually, it, I, I actually don't advise you to use this method or put a data that you know that is actually not yours into into some some websites which actually don't know what they are going to do with your data set. But as a beginner, you can download data from Cargo and you can actually use it like this. You understand? But if you are actually working professionally maybe you are working you are a freelancer working with somebody actually do i actually do not advise you to put people's data set into some online website because you actually don't know what's going on with your data set so i will actually advise you to understand what is actually going on with your data set so let's continue so you can just choose your file here Uh, upload and this is what I'm talking about. Now you're uploading your stuff here. You should know what's going on. Now you have it uploaded. You can just screw screw and check if there's anything. Now you can see you can see here yeah, this has changed the um, this has changed the data set type. This the website changed the data type into a variable character instantly variable character variable character variable character the website is actually designed to detect the data type and that's just it the data type is the main thing is actually here to detect as you can see this are this has will change from bits to variable character now as you can see how this one is clicked already create a new review so here you can even insert you can start to please you know you can just do any kind of manipulation you actually want to do here in creating your data sets going here and that's actually everything you want to do and as you can see this one id integer not integer not no primary keys variable characters and now I can see it's starting to my table, it's to my table, it's to my table, and it's as you can see at my table. So this this is going to be the name of your data set. You can I think you can change it from my table. Let me just you just need to check. There is this thing you can see this place for my table. You can change it to something else. Even you can if you want to update. Now you can just change it to any. As you want to update or change a existing file or something, you know, from that name you can just manipulate it. There are many modifications you can do here. So the table, let me download it. So now let's open it. Now. As you can see, started a splitting query at home. So let's go and check our database if my table actually exists. Server, and you can see we have this. And that's all. As you can see, we just we just imported our CSV file into our SQL database with ease. So I just advise you, you know to understand the basics because these are the most important things so thank you for watching